Hello everyone and welcome to Jasmine Hall Dance at Home. Please make sure before starting the following exercise that you have warmed up using the attached warm-up video. Please make sure you are also familiar with the health and safety points in the poster which is attached to this project and also available on my Facebook and Instagram page. Please make sure you also have any visual aids, any posters or PDFs that I have given to you for this particular exercise and have them to hand throughout. We are now gonna go onto the exercise instructions and I hope you all have a really great time. Thank you. This video's exercise is called Magic Paintbrush. So the magic paintbrush is all about using our imagination. So the exercise isn't necessarily taught, but it's what we call improvisation. So where I might give you a stimulus, I might give you an idea, and then what you're going to do is you're gonna move with that idea in your own explorative way. And what the idea of this week is going to be is a magic paintbrush. So basically the idea is, is that you're going to be using your body to create a painting of your own. And these are the stages and ideas that I would give you if we were together in the space. So you can do it from the comfort of your own home. So I want you to get comfortable in your space, whether this is standing or this is seated, wherever you feel most comfortable. So the first thing I would like us to imagine is that we have a blank canvas in front of us. So we have a big white screen in front of us that's got nothing on, it's blank, it's empty. And this is not just in front of us, but it's also all the way around us as we are a 360 degree thing. So I want you to imagine that it goes all the way around your body. I then want you to decide what color paints you would like. Um, you can use, use your favorite colors. Um, you can use quite out there colors. Um, yeah, it could be your pinks, yellows, greens, silvers, golds, um, whatever, whatever colors that you fancy. You're then gonna imagine that you have those paints in front of you. It can be on a palette, it can be in little paint pots, whatever you decide works for you. And I want you to really engage that imagination and really picture that it is right in front of you. So you've got your little paint pots, you've got a palette, maybe you can mix some colors together to make a new color, but imagine those key colors are right in front of you. Now I'm gonna move into the space and I'm going to uh, show you what we will do next. So once you're in your space and that you have those colours in front of you, they can be on the floor or they can be up here, wherever's comfortable for you. I want you to use your body as a paintbrush, exploring that canvas in front of you. So you might want to take a moment to dip your hands in the paint or dip your feet. Could you dip your toe in the paint or maybe your elbow or even your head? whatever body part you're going to start exploring first. Then once you've dipped your, your body part in the paint, you can then start exploring freely what you're going to paint on that picture. Now it can be a picture that you've uh, decided or seen before, or it can be, excuse my dog, that is just coming into the space. Hi. <laughs> Please excuse my dog, I'm just going to take back. Come on, Max, go on. Now, once you've got your dog out of the space, then you can start creating your picture. As I was going to say, is that it can be a predetermined picture. You might want to draw your house or your dog or anything, actually. Um, especially if you're working with other people, could you decide what parts of the picture you're all going to paint? Or you can paint something that is completely random and in the moment. So you can use your body to just create lots of different uh, strokes and lines and dots or whatever you want, just to explore and have a little bit of fun. So we're gonna start looking at some different paint strokes that you can do. So once you've dipped your body in, you can do long, big strokes like this. Long, big strokes. You can do different patterns. Don't forget to go all the way around the other sides. This is just my example of using my hands. So these are long and continuous strokes. Could you then do some, maybe some short ones? So 
So do some really short ones. Great. Could you then maybe do some little dots? So maybe we could use our fingers for this. Dot. So can you dot some paint on your picture, on your canvas? Great. You might want to do that with a different body part. Could you do that with your elbow? Really exploring up high and down low. Could you do it maybe with your hips? Or could you do some long strokes with the hips? Or maybe you could do it with your foot. Lovely. Great. You can then maybe try doing some splats. So let's do that with our hands so we can go splat. You can add in some different sound effects as well if you want to. Splat that paint on. Don't forget to keep dipping that body part in the paint to get some more colours as well. So yes, yeah, so you can do some splats um, and you can also maybe do some real small details as well. So you could take maybe the finger and do some really small details to add those finishing touches onto that picture. Great. And then once you have done, you can take a step back and look at your wonderful picture. You might want to tell your friends and families what, you, what you've created, or it might just be an absolute madness of colour. Whatever it is, it's just a little bit of good fun and for you to step out your comfort zone and move in a completely different way than what you normally would. Now I'm just going to give you an example of uh, some moves that you might like to do during the exercise. So here we go. So th some things that I would like you to consider while doing this exercise. First of all, what body parts can you use to be your paintbrush? We always normally go for the hands, as this is something that we may use to use our, to use our paintbrush. However, our body is our instrument and we can use it in lots of different ways. So you might wanna pick maybe your shoulder. Could you paint with your shoulder? How about your head? Can you make some cool pictures out of your head? You can do your knee or your foot or your hips or anything. It can be absolutely anything, but maybe challenge yourself to uh, try a different body part. And this also takes away that pressure and feeling like you have to use a certain body part. If that's uncomfortable for you, then swap it for another one. The second thing I'd like you to consider is the colour of your paint. When I said at the start of the video that you could have your different paint pots or on a palette, you can think about what colours that you want. Are they your favourite colours? Do they connect with the painting? Are you just choosing random colours? And then when you take a step back, really have a look at all the different colourful um, splats and splodges that you have on your painting. So the colours are really important. And share them with your friends and family as well. It's lovely to talk about what our favourite colours are. Another thing to think about is what kind of strokes you're doing with your body part. Are you doing long strokes and continuous ones? Are you doing short and sweet strokes of your paintbrush? Are you doing little dots and spots? Are you doing circular? Or are you doing very straight and linear lines? Or are you doing massive splats? So you're just throwing that paint to the canvas and seeing what happens. And the final thing I'd like you to consider is, can you use your family and your friends, whoever you're with, to create a picture together? So you could all take a part of the bigger picture and see what movements that you can do to represent that different part of the picture. So working together as a team. 
And what's really great about this exercise is that it doesn't matter how big or small your space is, you can use that space that is around you and what you feel comfortable with doing. And the last thing that I really want you to do is I want you, if you're working on your own, to tell people what you've created. It might be something really meaningful to you. Um, I like to paint pictures of scenery or sometimes I might just want to throw the paint and see what happens. But what's really great is that you can share that experience with the other people in the space together. So get on your favourite music, get into your space, don't forget to warm up first of all and start painting your beautiful pictures with your bodies. Thank you all so much for taking part in this video's creative dance exercise. I hope you had a really great time and you enjoyed the content that I've given you. Please make sure that you share any videos, pictures or feedback to us at Jasmine Hall Dance using the email jasminehall.dance at gmail.com or message us privately or share on our Facebook and Instagram page, Jasmine Hall Dance. We really, really appreciate all of your feedback and any words that you may have to make any future projects better. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this exercise. If this was a free one on our Facebook and Instagram in August. And if you are watching these as part of the purchased packages, Again, we hope you enjoy it and please move on to the next exercise. Thank you all very much for your support.